Shalom. First off, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh Ba'ashim Rakaq Kudash. Want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Sayyid Shalom. I'm trying to ask him out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Title of this video or this lesson is The Second Death and the Lake of Fire. Is America being destroyed by thermonuclear missiles? Okay. I'm going uh, to get into what the um, second death is first. Revelation 2 and 11. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. He that overcomes shall not be hurt of the second death. Okay, and the second death is not you die and then you go die again. That's not <laughs> uh, what the second death means. Okay, first off, you have to understand what the first death is. Okay, now it says he so he that overcomes. Okay, so not be hurt of the second death. Okay, I'm gonna get this scripture. Okay, because like I said, you have to know what the first death is. Okay, Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Okay, so if the scriptures talk about a second death, okay, then you could go through the scriptures, okay, and understand what the first death is. So you have to do your homework. Okay, it says that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Okay, what is our hope? To overcome, okay, so that we can over, uh, won't be hurt from the second death. Okay, because we know that, as the scriptures say, uh, patience, okay, we know that this is coming, that the Lord is going to destroy the earth. Okay, again. Okay, now, this is uh, Genesis 6 and 5, because he has a reason why he destroyed, he's going to destroy the earth, okay? But he destroyed the earth before. This is Genesis 6 and 5, okay? It says, and God, which his name is Yahweh by Samuel Sai, saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord that he had made man on the earth and grieved him at, at his heart. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the fowls of the air, for it repents me that I made that I have made them. Okay. And uh this goes into the first death. Okay, this is Genesis 6 and uh, 13. And God, Yahweh said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me. For the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Okay, it says the end of all flesh. This is a, a, a key point when you're doing your homework. Okay, and this was the first time that the end of all flesh happened. Okay, which is the first death. Okay, and the first death was the the flood when the Lord destroyed the earth with water. Okay, but this time, okay, he's going he's going to do it again. He's going to destroy the earth. He's not going to do it with water this time. This is uh, 2 Ezra 8 and 1. And he answered me saying, The Most High has made this, this world for many, but the world to come for few. I will tell you a similar to Ezra, okay? Uh, something uh, similar to this is a comparison, basically. Something that is similar. It says, As when thou ask the earth, it shall say unto you, 
that it gives much mold whereof earthen vessels are made, but little dust that gold com comes out of it. Even so, is the course of this present world. So the course of this world that we're living in, you have a lot of people out here, okay? Like you had people, a lot of people back then, okay? But everybody that back then was walking into their own, their own imagination, of their own thoughts, okay? They was uh, wicked in the same way today. People were wicked. There are very, very few, okay, it says little dust that gold comes out of it. There are only few people that are even decent in this uh, world. It says there be many created, but few shall be saved. So there are many people that were created, but only a few of them are worthy of salvation. Okay. Second Ezra 14. I mean, uh, 9 and uh, 14. Then answered I and said, I have said before, and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. There be many of them, many more of them that, shall, that which perish than of them which shall be saved. Okay? And during the, during the time of Noah, it was Noah and his his three sons and their wives, okay? So it was eight people all together during that time that ended up getting uh, saved, okay? It says, uh, then of them which are saved, like as a wave is greater than a drop, Okay? So if you dropped a, a little bit a little bit of water, okay, in a big wave, okay, that that's how many how it's gonna look, okay, when this world is destroyed. It says, um, and he answered me saying, like as the field is, so is the so also so is also the seed. As the flowers be, such are the colors also, such as the workman is such also is the work, and as the husband, men, is himself, so is the husbandry, for it was the time of the world. And now when I prepared the world, which was not yet made, even for them to dwell in that now live, no man spake against me. But, I mean, for, for then every one obeyed, but now the manners of them which are created in this world that is made are corrupted by perpetual seed. Okay? A never ending seed. Okay? Same way how back then, during the time of Noah, okay, that the Lord saw that wickedness of man. Okay? And it just kept on kept on going and going and going. Okay? And by a law which is unsearchable rid themselves okay because these people are basically living lawless okay so i considered the world and behold there was a peril because of the devices that were come into it okay and i saw and spared it greatly and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of of a great people let the multitude perish then which was born in vain, and let my grape be kept, and my plant for with great labor have I made it perfect. Okay, and that's talking about that great people, okay, that, that are going to overcome, that will not be hurt by the second death. Okay, so continuing on, this is Revelation 21 and 8, but the fearful and the unbelieving and ab abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Okay? So the lake that, that 
that burns with fire and brimstone is America. When America is destroyed, okay, all of these people that are in America that aren't of that great people that overcame, they're gonna be they're gonna be hurt from the fire and brimstone. Same way those people back then, okay, during the time of Noah, okay, they was wicked, and, and guess what? The Lord flooded them out. This time, these people are wicked, and guess what? The Lord is about to burn them out. Okay? That's uh, when America is destroyed with thermonuclear missiles. That's the second death, okay? All these people that aren't of the elect, that's why we here at Great Millstone, we go into the elect, because the elect is that great people, okay? Isaiah 9 and 5, for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire, those thermonuclear missiles, okay? Normally people would, would go out and, uh, you know, fight with, you know, swords and stuff like that. But the modern day sword now is the missiles. Okay. So I'm going to get this scripture and I'm going to end it. Okay. Second Thessalonians 1 and 7. And to you who are troubled, rest with us. Okay. Because you, you're overcoming this world, okay? Rest with us. When the Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. And flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God, okay? Who are those that know not God? These people that this scripture is talking about. That's going to be in that lake of fire, Okay? Which, once again, the lake of fire was is when the missiles hit and America is turned into a lake of fire. Because America is going to be destroyed, okay, in World War Three, It says, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord, Yahweh Shah. Okay, so when, that, when, when the Lord returns, okay, America is going to be destroyed and the and flaming fire... The Lord is going to take vengeance on those people that don't know the Lord and don't don't listen to what he says. Okay. So with that, you know, I'm going to say uh, Solomon until next time.